What's up folks? How you doing today? I just want to make a quick video of um, You see this guy here This is the running mate of Donald Trump And I just want to make it clear that Donald Trump actually had a, a good pathway to winning, right? See, I'm I, I'm not a supporter of both of either one of them, but if I make criticism on one side, we got to go on the other side as well. Like this guy right here, Donald Trump's first mistake after he got shot because he had the momentum going with him. After he got shot, he got people sympathizing with him, all that. His first mistake was. Picking this idiot right here, right? He's like a white supremacist type dude. You already got the white supremacists on your side. You are supposed to pick someone who can get you someone other than the white supremacist base that you had. That's not going to get you across the finish line. You see? Uh, the foolishness that Donald Trump, he can't, he, he couldn't even get out of his own way. Right? So, and I think he realized that now, but it's, it's, it's too late. Because I'm about to show you how this idiot is about to crash and burn like he's been crashing and burning. Right? So, come on. Uh, Donald Trump had an outreach to black people and he was trying to outreach to black men and do all that stuff, right? This dude is about to rewind everything, all the black outreach Donald Trump is trying to do by saying what he about to say. He about to say something about the black farmers. The black farmers had a lawsuit because they've been discriminated against because of their color. The reason why the money was given to them is because they were discriminated against because of their color. And when you hear what this idiot is about to say, like Donald Trump and you guys need as much support as you can to try to get over the finish line, you fucking idiot. Excuse my language. Let me just let you hear what he got to say. Their mouths shut or at least focus on me but look it's the nature of public life in this country my wife's pretty tough and she knows what we signed up for i imagine it's hard to keep your temper when you hear things like that <laughs> yeah i get pissed off sometimes certainly yeah. uh, when people attack your family and certainly attack your family for something that no person can control and i, I do think that there's been this thing in america mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm gonna let you know his his wife is of uh indian descent or something like that right so the right wing of the Republican Party is attacking him because he don't have a white woman. He has some Indian. So she, they're attacking her. She's like the same uh, heritage as Kamala Harris, which is not black. Yeah, like we've been pointing out to you. She's the same as her. <laughs> you understand? And his white supremacist base is attacking him for the woman that he has. And now he has to double back. And the way that these white supremacists do to try to save face, when they're not on cold with the white supremacist base, is they go to black people. They go to attacking what's to black people. Let me, let me give you an example. Where we've said that we should judge people based on their skin color, based on their immutable characteristics, based on things that they can't control. Uh, I frankly think that unfortunately, a lot of people on the left have leaned into this by trying to categorize people by skin color and then give special benefits or special amounts of discrimination. The Harris administration, for example, handed out farm benefits to people based on skin color. I think that's disgraceful. I don't, I don't think we should say, you get farm benefits if you're a black farmer, you don't get farm benefits if you're a white farmer. Hey, you stupid fucking white supremacist idiot. The white farmer's been getting all the benefits and the benefits that the black farmers were trying to get some of, they were discriminated from getting. That's the reason why that money was handed out. And he's sitting here saying that nobody should be discriminated against and blah, 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 blah. 
and the people that you're talking about, the reason why they got the money, because they were discriminated against. You clown. That's the reason, that's the type of stuff that's going to turn the black people off of your, 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 your campaign, you stupid idiot. Donald Trump, you picked a fucking moron. He's going to help you lose this election. Continue. All farmers, we want to thrive, and that's certainly the President Trump and, and J.D. Vance view of the situation. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think, unfortunately, when our leaders divide us by race, you're going to have hate on the left side of the political spectrum. You're going to have hate on the right side of the political spectrum. We should just judge people based on individual characteristics and based on merit. And that's certainly yeah. what President Trump and I want to do. But that wasn't born in the last four years. I mean... Yeah, sir. Um, I'm, I'm going to just tell you... Uh, the reason why the lawsuit was there in the first place is because people were discriminated because of the color, and what you saying that shouldn't happen, and then they were, and then they were being restitution for what happened to them, and you're saying that they shouldn't have got nothing. What well, they should have got nothing, and no white people and everybody else who ain't got something, they already got it. The reason why this lawsuit is because they got theirs and those people didn't get it. <laughs> Donald Trump, you made a bad decision on your, on your stupid white supremacist idiot who can't even calm himself down enough to bring his white supremacy in to get into the White House. He ain't even smart enough to do that. Let's go. Oh, no, not at all, but I think that President Biden and Harris have certainly accelerated it. I, I don't yeah. think you've seen any, anything like what we've seen from Kamala Harris when it comes to handing out government benefits based on people's immutable characteristics. The actual legal enshrinement of discrimination in, the, in this country, we haven't seen anything like it in the last 30 or 40 years. Certainly back in the 60s and 50s, we all look at that as a period that we wanted to get away from, and in some ways the Harris administration has re-implemented it. I think it's pretty disgraceful. Well, in your own movement, that, that's what I want to ask about, because one of the supremacists who was saying things like this about your family, yeah, Nick Fuentes, an avowed uh -huh. anti-Semite, went after your wife. He had previously dined at Mar-a-Lago with Donald Trump. Does this have any room in your movement, in of, the MAGA movement? Of course. Of course. Of course it does. <laughs> Nick Fuentes is a white supremacist. They came after him and his family and his wife because his wife is now white. <laughs> and watch how these folks <laughs> watch what you gotta do. Just to placate to these folks, you fucking idiot. You are a white supremacist yourself. And this is what it sounds like when the white supremacist come out to another white supremacist and, and he he's the weaker of the white supremacists. This is what they sound like. Continue. It doesn't have any room in the magnet movement, and of course, you disavow him and, of course, and this. And of course, Donald Trump has criticized this person. Look, I think the guy's a total loser. Certainly, I disavow him. But if you ask me, what I care more about is it a person attacking me personally, or is it government policy that discriminates based on race? That's what I really worry about: is bad government policy that harms people based on their immutable characteristics. Look, a lot of losers are going to attack me and attack my family. I think the proper response to them is to ignore them. Don't feed the trolls, and they largely go away. What I worry much more about is bad government policy, Margaret, because I think it's a bad, bad thing. Um. The reason why that Black Farmers lawsuit was brought, because it was government policy to discriminate, you stupid, white supremacy, bubblehead motherfucker, who can't even hide your white supremacy long enough to get into the White House. It was policy is the reason why the lawsuit, this wasn't, this wasn't the administration giving out money to black farmers. This was a lawsuit that they won in court because they, it was proven that they were discriminated against. 
The same thing you talking about, you shouldn't be discriminated against except for if it's black people, that means it's okay. And if the black people get some money for being discriminated against, that's the real discrimination. And these people, and, and he's doing this at the same time Donald Trump is trying to make an outreach to black people. You picked the wrong person, Donald. He's an idiot in a buffoon. He ain't even smart enough to hide his white supremacy till y'all try to get make it into the White House. <laughs> let me, I guess I'll let a little bit more and we're going to end this. I want to ask you about some of the things you've said on the business front. Yeah. Um, you said you're among the most pro-labor Republicans in the Senate. Yeah, you're not that, a big... Yeah. That's where I wanted to end it at. Excuse me, folks. That's exactly where I wanted to end it at. Donald Trump, do you see that apparently Kamala Harris, uh, the woman who is a prosecutor who's, who will go against everything that black people claim that they wanted for the last, what, how many years of uh, criminal um, reform? This is a prosecutor that's going to put more laws on the book and put more of you Negroes in jail. Donald Trump, you should be able to beat her, but you can't because you, you get in your own way and you pick idiots like this as your vice president to come out and go against the very people that you're trying to reach out to. These people ain't been given a damn thing. This was a lawsuit that a court said, yeah, they were discriminated because other people got th th this re these resources that they did not get. Mind you, the other white people and all these other farmers, they got those resources. The black ones did it. That's the reason why there was a lawsuit. And you got this idiot saying what he's saying. You need all the help you can get to be Kamala at this point. Your first mistake was picking this idiot. And all you don and if you're a Donald Trump supporter, you should be upset that he picked this idiot that's not even smart enough to hide his white supremacy until he make the white supremacy is already on your side. You don't have to placate to them. You need to pull in other people. They're going, they're not going to vote for Kamala Harris. They're already going to vote for you. So saying that crap about the f black farmers getting this and blah, blah, blah. And the black farmers thing, the, the, the Biden administration plugged in a whole bunch of other groups. So what happens is when they say, oh, minorities, that's, when they say minorities, that is just a trick to make sure that minorities, besides black people, get the money. There's gonna be very few black farmers that's gonna get that money. The minority groups, white women, Spanish, Asian, they're gonna get that money. Black people are gonna be the last at the bottom of that list. And that's, that's another um, uh, tool for my black people who want to go out there and think they vote voting for and, 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 and they telling you that, oh yeah, we gave some to black farmers. No, they, they, this was a thing for black farmers and the Biden administration said in order they put plug, we put this money out, we're going to plug all these other people in there. So we're gonna give them the money first and you Negroes are gonna get it last if you get any of it, very little of it. My family is a black farmer. I bet you we don't get none of it. We're in the program. I bet you we don't get none of it. If we do, it's gonna be a very minuscule of nothing. I'm gonna leave it there. Please subscribe. Please put the like button. If you heard something that you have not heard before, Right. We're going to give you more information that you ain't heard before. If you haven't heard it before. You can research your information, anything that you heard here. Y'all have a blessed night.